Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Prepare yourself for 30 thought-provoking questions covering various aspects of the Holy Bible. Before we start, please subscribe and like this video to help us spread the Word of God. After the quiz, share your score in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We also have an exciting opportunity for you. Click the Join button to become a channel member. As a member, you'll get access to exclusive content that will enhance your biblical journey, and you'll be supporting us in sharing the Word of God with more people. Are you ready? Let's jump into the video. Question 1. Who did King David honor by setting his lame son Mephibosheth at the king's table? A. Ishbosheth. B. Abner. C. Jonathan. D. Ahithophel. Time to think. Uh, the right answer is letter C. A second book of Samuel, chapter 9, verse 11. Then said Ziba unto the king, According to all that my lord the king hath commanded his servant, so shall thy servant do. As for Mephibosheth, said the king, he shall eat at my table, as one of the king's sons. Question 2. Which tribe of Israel did King David belong to? A. Judah B. Benjamin C. Ephraim D. Levi Time to think. The right answer is letter A. First book of Samuel, chapter 17, verse 12. Now David was the son of that Ephrathite of Bethlehem Judah, whose name was Jesse, and he had eight sons, and the man went among men for an old man in the days of Saul. Question 3. What did David instruct Solomon regarding Joab? A. To honor him for his loyalty. B to build him a monument. C. To make him chief advisor. D. To not let his whore head go down to the grave in peace. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. First book of Kings, chapter 2, verse 6. Do therefore according to thy wisdom, and let not his whore head go down to the grave in peace. Question 4. What did Nathan prophesy to David regarding the consequences of his sin with Bathsheba? A. Nathan prophesied that David's kingdom would be divided. B. Nathan prophesied that the sword shall never depart from David's house. C. Nathan prophesied that David would lose his throne. D. Nathan prophesied that David's crops would fail for seven years. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Now therefore, the sword shall never depart from thine house, because thou hast despised me, and hast taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be thy wife. Second book of Samuel, chapter 12, verse 10. Question 5. Whom did David defeat to prove his loyalty to King Saul and earn Michal's hand in marriage? A. The Philistines B. The Ammonites C. The Moabites 
D. The Jebusites. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And Saul said, Thus shall ye say to David, The king desireth not any dowry, but an hundred foreskins of the Philistines, to be avenged of the king's enemies. But Saul thought to make David fall by the hand of the Philistines. And when his servants told David these words, it pleased David well to be the king's son-in-law, and the days were not expired. Wherefore David arose and went, he and his men, and slew of the Philistines two hundred men. And David brought their foreskins, and they gave them in full tale to the king, that he might be the king's son-in-law. And Saul gave him Michal his daughter to wife. First book of Samuel, chapter 18, verses 25-27. Question 6. What did King David do with the lion and the bear that he encountered while tending his father's sheep? A. Negotiated peace with them. B. Built a fence to keep them away. C. Killed them. D. Tamed them. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. First book of Samuel, chapter 17, verse 34-35. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him, and slew him. Question 7. What did King David declare about the word of the Lord in Psalm 119? A. It is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. B. It is hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. C. It is forever settled in heaven. D. It is sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Question 8. Whom did King David speak to when he said, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety? A. Nathan the prophet. B. The Lord. C. Jonathan. D. His son Solomon. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Psalms, chapter 4, verse 8. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Question 9. What was King David's response upon hearing of the unrighteous killing of Abner by Joab and his men? A. He cursed Joab and his lineage. B. He ordered the immediate arrest of Joab. C. He fired Joab. D. He praised Joab for his actions. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Second book of Samuel, 
chapter 3, verse 29. Let it rest on the head of Joab and on all his father's house, and let there not fail from the house of Joab one that hath an issue, or that is a leper, or that leaneth on a staff, or that falleth on the sword, or that lacketh bread. Question 10. What did King David say about his enemies in Psalm 23? A. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. B. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. C. He restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. D. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Psalm chapter 23, verse 5. Question 11. What did King David confess about his sinfulness at birth? A. I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. B. I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. C. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. D. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, he leadeth me beside the still waters. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Psalms, chapter 51, verse 5. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Question 12. Whom did King David appoint to lead the choir of the house of the Lord? A. Asaph B. Haman C. Jeduthun D. Abiathar Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And he left there before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, Asaph and his brethren, to minister before the ark continually, as every day's work required. First Book of Chronicles, Chapter 16, Verse 37 Question 13 What did King David say about walking through the valley of the shadow of death? A. He would fear no evil. B. He would pray for strength. C. He would seek the guidance of the prophets. D. He would turn back in fear. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Yea. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Psalm chapter 23 verse 4. Question 14. What did King David say about his trust in God during times of trouble, as recorded in Psalm 27? A. He would hide under the shadow of the Almighty. B. He would wait patiently for the Lord. C. The Lord is his shepherd, he shall not want. D. The Lord is his light and his salvation, whom shall he fear? 
Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Psalm chapter 27 verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Question 15. What was David's profession when he was anointed by Samuel? A. Soldier. B. Shepherd. C. Carpenter. D. Scribe. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. And, behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. First book of Samuel, chapter 16, verse 11. Question 16. What did the Lord declare would remain forever, according to his covenant with David? A. The throne of his kingdom. B. The wealth of his descendants. C. The lands of his enemies. D. The walls of Jerusalem. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Second book of Samuel, chapter 7, verse 16. And thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. Question 17. According Psalms 18, what did King David declare about God lighting his candle in times of darkness? A. God would kindle a flame within him. B. God would lighten his darkness. C. God would make his path shine brightly. D. God would guide him with a pillar of fire. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. For thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. Psalms, chapter 18, verse 28. Question 18. What was the name of the priest who showed kindness to David by giving him the holy bread and the sword of Goliath? A. Eli B. Zadok C. Ahimelech D. Abiathar Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Then answered Doeg the Edomite, which was set over the servants of Saul, and said, I saw the son of Jesse coming to Nob, to Ahimelech the son of Ahitub, and he inquired of the Lord for him, and gave him victuals, and gave him the sword of Goliath the Philistine. First book of Samuel, chapter 22, verses 9-10. Question 19. Which psalm of David expresses confidence in God as his shepherd? A. Psalm 23. B. Psalm 119 C. Psalm 51 D. Psalm 34 Time to think.
The right answer is letter A. Psalm 23, chapter 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Question 20. Which city did King David establish as the capital of Israel? A. Jerusalem B. Bethlehem C. Hebron D. Jericho Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Second book of Samuel, chapter 5, verse 9. So David dwelt in the fort and called it the city of David, and David built round about from Milo and inward. Question 21. For how many years did Lamech, the father of Noah, live before he died? A. 777 years. B. 969 years. C. 182 years. D. 500 years. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And all the days of Lamech were seven hundred seventy and seven years, and he died. Book of Genesis, chapter 5, verse 31. Question 22. Who was the first person to die according to the book of Genesis? A. Cain B. Abel C. Seth D. Adam. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. Book of Genesis, chapter 4, verse 8. Question 23. How many days did God use to create the heaven and the earth? A. Five days. B. Six days. C. Seven days. D. Eight days. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 31. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Question 24. Who was taken by God so that he did not see death? A. Methuselah B. Enoch C. Cain D. Lamech Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Genesis, chapter 5, verse 24. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Question 25. On which day did God create man in his own image? A. First day. B. Third day. C. Sixth day. D. Fifth day. Time to think.
The right answer is letter C. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Genesis chapter 1 verses 26, 27, and 31. Question 26. What did God place at the east of the Garden of Eden to guard the way to the Tree of Life? A. A flaming sword. B. A great flood. C. A wall of fire. D. Cherubims and a flaming sword. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. So he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims, and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. Book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 24. Question 27. What did God promise Abraham regarding his descendants and the stars? A. To make his descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. B. To give his descendants the stars as an inheritance. C. To guide his descendants by the stars. D. To make his descendants shine like stars. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And he brought him forth abroad, and said, Look now toward heaven, and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. Book of Genesis, chapter 15, verse 5. Question 28. What was the name of Abraham's son, whom God commanded him to offer as a sacrifice? A. Isaac B. Ishmael C. Jacob D. Esau Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. Book of Genesis, chapter 22, verse 2. Question 29. What was made to appear on the second day of creation? A. The stars. B. The firmament. C. Land and seas. D. Sun and moon. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. Book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 6 to 7. Question 30. What was Noah instructed to make the ark out of? A. Oak. B. Gopher wood. C. Pine. D. Cedar. 
Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Genesis, chapter 6, verse 14. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Room shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score, any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.